Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the pros and cons of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. Here's our list of the pros and cons for Daytona Beach, Florida. Pro number one, outdoors. Florida is the sunshine state after all, and people there love to spend time outside enjoying it. There's no reason to stay inside if you're in Daytona Beach, as the area naturally makes it appealing to get dressed and head out. Year-round, you can enjoy a number of activities that are special to the area. Everything from boating, surfing, fishing, and camping. There are literally dozens of parks all over the city that are perfect for kicking back and relaxing, including the Tacoma State Park and the Tiger Bay State Forest. On top of that, Daytona Beach has 23 miles of beautiful sandy beaches that has that classic Florida white sand. More than 8 million people come to the beaches alone because they know how special it is and with the temperatures that are pleasant year round, it's always a good time to visit. Con number one, tourism. Don't move or visit Daytona Beach thinking it's a sleepy beach city on the Atlantic. It's that and a lot more. The hospitality industry here is strong to a fault. Like I just mentioned, all year long people flock here and for the warm weather and ability to drive your car on the sand. Beaches, restaurants, shops, parks, roads, and hotels are constantly full and very busy. It'll impact your everyday activities like going to Walmart and enjoying romantic sunsets with your sweet thing. With the influx of tourism year-round, that means there's also more of a fluctuation in crime along with the congestion. Maybe you like being shoulder to shoulder with people. In that case, this won't bother you. But if you are looking for a quiet place to rest, look somewhere else. Pro number two, Daytona 500. Even people who don't know anything about NASCAR know about the Daytona 500. If you notice it says Daytona, that's because it happens here. If you're lucky enough to attend in person, you can expect to share the experience with between 130 to 150,000 other spectators. Otherwise, you can watch from home or a sports bar and be a part of the 10 million collective fans who couldn't get tickets. The Daytona 500 is regarded as the race of races and is a really big deal for NASCAR fans and people in the area are very enthusiastic about it. While it's going on, you can expect to have everything be about the race until it's over. Con number two, Daytona 500. Yes, this was just mentioned as a pro for the city. While it is a pro, it's also a con in many ways. A lot of people wouldn't have a clue about Daytona Beach if it weren't for NASCAR. It definitely put it on the map. People live there because of it and people travel there for it. With all the spectators in town, it really puts a heavy load on the roads, highways, restaurants, gas stations, and service related industry. It's an extremely popular event. And if you aren't into NASCAR, you might not fit into certain social circles, make friends, or be able to chat it up with many of the locals. Daytona Beach really is a NASCAR lover's oasis, and it is offensive to locals to say otherwise. Pro number three, close. Despite being a very self-sufficient city and having a lot to offer in terms of amenities and entertainment, it's always nice to know you have access to other places of interest. The fact that Daytona Beach is only 51 miles away from Orlando and 86 miles to Jacksonville, it opens up the doors to many possibilities for both business and pleasure. If you're really feeling adventurous, you can drive 275 miles down to Miami. No matter what part of the state of Florida you need to be in, the drive isn't going to be horribly long. This is especially nice if you have a family and you want to do the theme parks or maybe have a job out of town. Living in or visiting Daytona Beach won't make you feel disconnected to the outside world by any means. Con number three, retirees. Let me preface this by saying that there is nothing wrong with older people. They can be a lot more friendly and pleasant to be around than a lot of the younger people today. But with that being said, Daytona Beach is a popular spot for retirees and snowbirds to wind up. 
There's a lot of places in the city designed just for them, like clubs, retirement communities, and bingo halls. This means there's a lot of older drivers on the road too, so commute times could be slower than usual and you might have to keep an extra eye to drive a little safer. It might be a good opportunity to go and make a new set of friends and learn how to do things like play bridge and Sudoku the right way. They're just trying to enjoy life too. Pro number four, exciting nightlife. Do you like to get turned? Of course you do. Like many other cities in Florida, the fun doesn't end when the sun goes down. That's when things start to get fun. Daytona Beach has the iconic beach town feel, complete with the big club scene. Tiki bars, coconuts, pink umbrella drinks, yep, they got it. There are a ton of clubs, bars, and restaurants to get your drink on and let loose. After all, that is the reason most people are there. The city also hosts many events and festivals like Daytona Bike Week, one of the most popular and attended events there. Live music, food, beer, and people are what make the nightlife in Daytona Beach so exciting. Con number four, expensive. If you want to live the best Florida life in Daytona Beach and utilize everything the city has to offer, you'll have to pay for it. Housing prices there are moderately lower compared to other parts of the country, especially major cities. The average selling price is around $220,000 and homes are usually sold within one month of listing. Most are much sooner. Prices continue to rise each year as it is definitely a seller's market. It's important to make sure you have a decent job lined up or multiple people working and contributing to the household so you can afford to go and chill on the beach. Pro number five, jobs. To enjoy all the recreation and fun things to do in Daytona Beach, daddy's gonna need to get paid. Good thing is, there's a lot of opportunities for employment there. Tourism is obviously the leading industry as the city sees over 10 million visitors per year. There are many companies that are headquartered right in Daytona Beach, including NASCAR, Brown & Brown, Halifax, the Ladies Professional Golf Association, and Gambo Rental. Positions from entry level all the way to executive are here depending on your experience or knowledge. With that being said, the salary ranges and it will all depend on you. Con number five, weather. Before you tell me how beautiful the weather is most of the time here and in Florida in general, I know, the weather can be amazing there. When it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's like being in an abusive relationship with nowhere to go. The summers are brutal. You can expect temps over 90 from June through August. You don't have to worry about snow. There's also a lot of severe storms that come through the area, never mind the hurricanes you're subjected to. Thunderstorms happen often, and Florida actually leads the country with the most lightning strike related loss of life per year. Florida also produces the third most tornadoes in the country, and Daytona Beach is in Florida. While the weather there can be pleasant, it can and will change quickly. Alright everyone, that'll do it for today's video. Do you live in or love Daytona Beach? What's your favorite or least favorite thing about it? Either way, for some reason you're still here. So please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.